Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, I, can I just tell you that I love the book of Proverbs? Uh, it's a book of wisdom, or like I like to refer to it, the book that tells us how not to be an idiot. Uh, it clearly explains what a life of wisdom looks like. Well, in our text today, Colossians chapter 2, verses 1 through 5, Paul adds to the path to wisdom and explains how to get there. So uh, listen along. Paul says, For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. See, Paul says that Jesus is the source of all wisdom and all knowledge. In other words, if you want to be you know, someone who has all wisdom and all knowledge, you've got to know Jesus to get there. And yet there are many people who are educated and esteemed by the world as brilliant people who do not know Jesus. And in fact, they argue against the claims of Scripture, which is why we need to do the things that Paul said. That path to wisdom includes loving well. He says you're knit together in love. And so we need to love well because we can't represent Jesus if we don't know how to love well and uh, we can't represent Jesus unless we reflect his character. Uh, we need to become confident in our faith. Now, confidence doesn't mean arrogance. It doesn't mean treating people with disdain or contempt or, or just being angry towards them. It means that we need to understand what we believe and why we believe it. And then he says, so that in Christ, we understand wisdom. The more you understand Christ, the more wisdom is going to become clear in your life. You're going to see the world differently and understand it through the eyes of Jesus. And when we get there, he says we are impossible to delude or to be led astray. And that's really the goal, as we talked about last week, about growing up in Christ so that you can't be led astray. Now, my grief, and I know a lot of you share this type of grief, uh, I have a brother who was led astray. Uh, he is deluded. And, and he, so he argues from the world's wisdom and not biblical, not Jesus. Uh, and, and that breaks my heart. And I'm still praying for him. And I'm sure you're praying for your family members and friends that are in that same place. So my plea to you is to join with the Apostle Paul and say, please read and apply God's word. Grow strong in your faith and in the wisdom of God. And, uh, and as James says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives freely to all who ask and don't doubt. So uh, I hope that encourages you to study, to learn, and to grow in wisdom. God bless.